Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Well, another video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and like them, please. Of course, we're doing a match preview for probably the biggest game of the week, I would say. Um, it's Aston Villa taking on Manchester City when Man City have to come down to Villa Park. We've got a Villa fan here. His name is Lewis. You alright, mate? Yeah, I'm right, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm good fan. So let's get into the video. So I've got Aston Villa for the Manchester City match preview. So first one, what I want to ask you, what do you think of Man City this season? Conceding nine in four games. Um, I watched them against Spurs. I think they started really well, but then at the end of the game, they wasn't good. What do we? What do you think of Manchester City this season? I mean. They were robbed yesterday. Don't say that much. Yeah. Uh, um. But they're just they're good. Obviously, like, there's no there's no any shape or form. Pep going to say yesterday was good enough. I think they conceded their goals too easily. Um. But I think they can definitely get being like got out of this season. But I just don't know in terms of tomorrow because not tomorrow, Wednesday because. Mm. They was we we wasn't exactly special against Bournemouth, mm. and that's a little bit. I mean, I know we usually struggle against Bournemouth, but it wasn't. I mean, we probably should have won it in theory, but it's what it is. You know, it's still what fourth, I think. So mm. I'm not exactly complaining, but I think if we want, if if we seriously want to be around top four, we do need to win or at least get a point tomorrow. But I do, I probably do expect us to fall off at some point in the season, but. Yeah. We'll see how tomorrow goes and go from there, really. Yeah. Not tomorrow. Wednesday. Keep saying tomorrow because there's games tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, uh, I wish it was Tuesday night, to be fair. Or do I? Don't worry. Actually, no, I don't. That means I'll be at work tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And I'm at college till like half four, so I'm glad yeah, it's. I'm college, but I mean, I'm meant to be in college right now, but I'll skip the day, so. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, uh, of course, I'm glad it's a Wednesday. It's a late one. I will be there at Villa Park on Wednesday under the lights. It's going to be strange that away fans are actually allowed in. <laughs> As, of course, the League of Awesome fans wasn't allowed I didn't, in. I didn't, I didn't realise until... Like, I thought I thought it was a celebration from this Gordon and then all of a sudden I, I go on to, I think it was half-time, and I see... Like, it all kicking off, and Legend of Warsaw fans not allowed them to stay. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Look at him. Well, like, apparently, uh, what I heard, apparently they was allowed in at half time, but because they was like fighting with a police boy, the game was on, they wasn't allowed in at, um, at all. So, yeah. Yeah, I know they weren't allowed in to that was like stand a bit, but yeah. it's what it is. Well, they're banned from Villa. They was at the Blues game another day, apparently. Like, yeah, I've, I've heard it was probably Barcelona fans, but from the video I've seen, it they're, de they're definitely saying Leicester, so I, I, I don't think really Yeah, care. some people are saying Barcelona fans, like. I don't think they are Barcelona I think they're definitely saying Leicester, but you know, whatever, it's what it is. It's yeah. the only, only, only atmosphere they'll get there every season, so. <laughs> Fair enough. Well. Since Andrew's falling down, eh? Um, yeah. So, will, will Manchester City win the league? Um... Of course, Arsenal are just playing lovely football. Cool, we've got them on Saturday. What? I'm nervous than Ars against Arsenal than I am against City. Um, but yeah, will Manchester City win the league? You've got Liverpool. What? Three two down against Fulham, coming back to win. They're just a class team. They've got Trent scoring the goals now. All Liverpool goals against Fulham was just class. You've got Liverpool. You've got Arsenal. You've got. Uh, shall I make Villa in that title race? We could. No, 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 just no. <laughs> Alright, let's just say Arsenal and Liverpool then. Will Arsenal, Liverpool, City, and then Spurs maybe, if they can keep the form up there, and then get right. to the same after they get the players back. You, you reckon Man City not. will win the league then? Probably. Yeah. Uh, They'll find a way. Yeah, I agree. I think uh I think if Man City keep calling her, keep getting the points, keep not winning, then I do think Arsenal will win the league or Liverpool. 
Uh, but Arsenal, no, no, Arsenal, they'll swap off. I've got an Arsenal fan on, on Saturday, um, for the Saturday preview. So, yeah, um, let's see what he says about the game. But, yeah, um, move on to the Aston Villa then. What do we, uh, what do we uh, both think of Aston Villa this season then? Like, um, I will go first. This season at Villa Park, I think we've been a class team. The fans have been unreal. We've just been playing good football. We've been scoring goals. Yeah, I I can't see City keeping a clean sheet on Wednesday. I know that's a sound. People probably saying, oh, you sound a bit stupid there. I don't think City will keep a clean sheet on Saturday because Watkins is just unreal. Uh, that header against Bournemouth as well, I'm sorry. But we need to change our away form, don't we, Lewis? Home, we've been on top of our away. It's just been a bit... Yeah. I mean, how we beat Spurs is beyond me. We should never won that game. In I think theory, first half, Spurs should have battered us. In theory, we probably should have been final at half-time, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, you reckon that was the worst performance? Half. It's the worst performance I've seen in a while. Throughout that first half. Mm. Um, in fact, no. I, I've been forced with us. Forced with Orville. Yeah. And then Spurs, the second half, was, second half, they couldn't really do much. But then it's just like, if you think about it this way, if Son was on side, it would have been 5 2, so. We can count ourselves fortunate. Yeah, but I think... And then yesterday, it was just like... I only managed to see the last half We never hour, beat Bournemouth. Like... Even if we're in good form, we never beat Bournemouth. We need to beat them at some point. I can see us beating them at Villa Park. We'll but... beat them at Villa Park. It's just... It's just at, at, at the um, vitality, it's always been an issue. Don't know why. Just ask me. It's, it's a bit like... It's a bit like Stoke, in a way. We can never beat Stoke at that place. Yeah. Uh, I agree, but yeah, at Villa Park, I think we, we look incredible. Beat Luton 3 1, beat Fulham 3 1. Um, I think, who do you think the worst team came to Villa Park? Um, I think, to be honest, I think it was Fulham. First half, I think they were shocking. I think, um, yes, Luton. In, in terms of squad or performance? Performance. Easy, Brighton. Easy. Mm. Yeah, I I did go to that game, so I can't really say. But again, what I I watched on TV, but there was yeah. No, I, I, I tell you, what I watched. I watched some. I watched some of my brother's phone on the way to Newcastle. Mm. Fair enough. Um, will Villa have enough to get top four? Have we got the squad to get top four? Hopefully, I mean, uh, in a mano, Bandia and Tyrone Mins will be back soon. Uh, but I think they'll be back March, April, uh, unfortunately. But um, will we have enough to get top four, do you think? Probably not. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think if we get a few players in the window, like, maybe. But it's just like, our depth just ain't good enough. Like, then Donker's okay, I guess. Then Donker, Donkey. <laughs> Tielemans is fucking shite. I don't care what I say. He's awful. Um, oh. I think I've seen, I think I've, I think I've seen like, one good game. I think that was against who was it? I think at Villa Park this season, Tinnemans has been a class player, but I think against League of Warsaw he was shocking. I'm sorry. Warsaw he was shocking. There was someone else that said drag him off half time. Who was it? Uh, and it might be Dinye. But no, it wasn't Dinye. He didn't play. Um, so, who was it? Fuck, who was it? Uh, Liverpool? No, there was another play against Warsaw in the, in the first half. Kamara? No, hang on. Let me... Hang on. Let me... 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 But, yeah, I think Luke is in there. Yeah, he ain't that He didn't play. It was Moreno, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I'll start Moreno. It was. It's you talking. Um, yeah, it was...
this is this is a weird thing. Um, yeah. Then it's gone BBC Sport. Um, it was. Give me the sign lineups, you stupid thing. There we go. Lengler. Oh, yeah, him. He was awful, Jim. He was awful. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I don't think we'll. I think we'll get top five or top six. In... Yeah, we'll get to top six. I'm, I'm, I'm very confident of that, but not, not. Unless somebody from the top four currently um, drops off or Newcastle don't revive their season with all the injuries, then there's a possibility, but it's a big ask. I mean, we need. I mean, it's, but, is it. I don't know. I think. It, no, I think number one, it depends on Spurs come back from from the injuries. Mm. It depends on Chelsea do because they're a bit up and down at the minute. United depends on like can recapture their form. Like so, I just don't. I can't see that. Depends on Brighton as well. Top six, minimum I think, but yeah. it, nah. Um, what do we think of Manchester City missing Rodri, former Aston Villa player Grealish and Grealish. Doku? Yeah. Uh, Grealish and Wad- Grealish and Wadri had too much yellow cards against them. Uh, okay. So they're both missing. Daku is injured apparently. So Harlan might be banned. Is he? Well, he might be banned. Uh, it depends. I I think he's done an investigation for happened yesterday. Ooh, so it, but I doubt. I doubt anything will come out of that. It just want to be a, a, a hefty fine. I doubt. I doubt if he get if he does get banned. I doubt it'll be before. I doubt it'll be before Wednesday. Yeah. Um, I mean, but we'll see. But I mean, I'll see. I'll see if there's any news on it. But what do we uh, think of Manchester City missing the three main players from City's team? If I'm gonna be brutally honest, I, I don't think it really matters for them. <laughs> they've got that. They've got that much depth. That's quite. A, I don't think it they're, matters. They're shocking with Bordry though, aren't they? So. I, we, mean, I think they'll play like Calvin Phillips or Kosovic, I think one of them. But uh, I don't really I mean, know. Rodri out probably brings in, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Because they'll start Kovacic anyway. Hmm. Might bring in Phillips, maybe. He's shocking though. Grish and Doku, I mean, Grish probably wouldn't start anyway. Doku might not even start anyway, because they've got depth there. They've got Foden that can play there. They've got Alphas that can play there. Hmm. Silver that can play there. So they're fine there. Yeah, I don't think it really impedes them too much, if I'm being honest. I don't think it really matters. Yeah. So, um, yeah, predicted lineup then. What are you going for um, against Manchester City? Uh, um, Martinez. Diego Carlos, I think he's uh, I think he's uh, I think he'd be our best defender this season. By far. Um did you, did you drop console or did you drop fucking power tires? I'll go power tires. <laughs> but, I'll probably go power next to Carlos and drop I'll give console a rest. Hmm. He's been good recently. Moreno, if he's fully fit. Um, Kamara, not um, Louise, and is Kamara back? Yeah, he should be. Uh, Kamara, then and I've got Diaby. McGinn in the ten. JJ on the left, if he's fully fit. If not, Bailey. I'm walking up front. Alright. Uh, I've got. I know, 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 I know
And I'm not, I'm not, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm, I think I've seen two of them have one good game for us. Right, my lineup then is Martin Denson goal, Cash, Concert, and Diago, Carlos. Um, Alex Moreno, if he's fully fit. Um, Douglas, Louise, Kamara, and McGinn. Um, right, JJ and Leon Bailey and DRB and Watkins up front. See, I, I, I wouldn't even mind. Uh, it depends on formation you play because you just seem to like force it, doesn't he? Mm, yeah. That's the thing. Which I'm not against. I mean, he's worked. Mm. I mean. If, if, he, if he does go 4-2, then yeah. I think him. against City, he has to go attacking that way. I think Jago Ramsey, Leon Bailey, DRB and Watkins. Yeah, I wouldn't be against him. I just don't think he'll play Zaniolo if, if Jago's not fully fit. Yeah. And I cannot be arsed to watch Amazon Prime. Imagine, imagine, Zaniolo in the starting lineup. Imagine he scores a screamer. <laughs> if he scores a... If he scores a dream, I'll whip it down my street naked. <laughs> Imagine the first minute he scores. It's not going to happen. We ain't even going to score. He'll mess up. No, he'll, I, 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 I see what happened. He'll mess up. And then we'll have Jamie Vardy scoring the ring, maybe. Pass it to Holland, 1 0 City. There you go. If he starts. You better not. But, yeah. If he starts, if he starts, you're in trouble. <laughs> Genuinely. Well, to be honest, if Mings were playing, I reckon Mings could keep Harlan up. I mean, he's got the hate. That's about it. I mean... He nearly <laughs> did last time. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, it, it's hard to say, because gen- at the minute, I don't see a Mings fit to my team. So, like, like, starting. Mm. Genuinely. Alright, let go into school. I'm not being funny. Diego Carlos is easily our best defender right now. Easily. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and it's. It was a like, good tackle from Conce yesterday. Really good tackle. I didn't see if I've heard it was. Actually, I have seen I've, I've seen it on Twitter. It was decent, but I mean, see, Conce is enough on the time to drop, but it's just like Powell's doing okay now. He's, he, he's, sort of, he's, he's sort of adapting to British football. Mm. So it's, it's one of them where. Yeah. Do we just go concert right back again? But people are starting to slate it. Mm. Let's get on to score predictions anyway and goal scorers. You go first and goal scorers for both teams. 1-1. One, one. <sighs> With DRB and... It's going to be hard on. Okay, I'm going to go more goals. I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two. Um... I think for us, I'm going to go Leon Bailey and Ollie Watkins. And for them, I'm going to go Phil Foden. I know this might sound silly, but if Calvin Phillips starts, he's going to score past us. See, I would say, like, I'm not... If we sell a few midfielders in in January, we could look at him all alone. Because he does want to move on. And I think Pep will want to move him on. Oh, I think Pep really will leave out. anyway. If if City win everything again, I think Pep will leave. I mean, he's, he's, he's been linked with England job, but that's not going to happen. Yeah. But um, last question before we uh, end this. What are you thinking of the round three tour as we take on Middlesbrough away? Is it a good draw? I know most Villa fans want in Birmingham City. They've got Hull away. But if Middlesbrough are a good draw... What's the freaking do? Shit draw for Hull as always. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a shit draw for Hull. If Middlesbrough um a good draw, you reckon? Tough game now, going there. It's not really easy. I mean, Carrick's doing well there. He's slowly getting grips again this season. They had, they had a slow start. Mm. Um, it doesn't really give us the chance to rest a few players. Will, will Aaron running. Ramsey tell Jacob Ramsey what to do? Because he used it. I've got Aaron Ramsey used to play for him. Is he still at the club? Or is he on loan somewhere else? He's on loan at Burnley. Is it, uh, 
didn't they? So, yeah, signed permanently. Of course they did, yeah. You've got to buy back, I think, on him. I will. Um, to be honest, imagine him and Jacob Ramsey started though. I think they'll be class together. No, genuinely. Take you from me. I mean, Villa fans. I mean, as Villa fans, we probably saw this a few times in pre-season. I mean, I did. Um, and then when Hull signed him, I was shocked. Um, and just and and, and to see this dude alive every single week is an absolute blessing in disguise. Yes, he missed the penalty of the weekend, which ultimately oh, is it that um. Finagine is unreal. Yeah. Finagine is... No. Nah. He's class. And I really hope... I know this sounds really weird. I really hope Hall don't go up because I do not want to lose him with 15 million back to Villa. He's worth 15 million right now. So about time, if we go up, he's worth like 25. Don't you think you'll sign he's, he's worth. He's worth more than 15 million already. He's mm. unreal. Right. There you go, guys. There's this match preview for Aston Villa and Manchester City. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like. Uh, Lewis, say your YouTube. I mean, post to watch. I mean, God knows when I'll be back, if I'm ever back, but I'm probably thinking of maybe doing a few things at some point. I don't know when. Yeah, so um, thanks for coming on, mate. Uh, yes, good. Hope Villa can get three points or a point on Wednesday. And move on to Arsenal, I guess. If we come out of City with a point, we move on to Arsenal at home. Two home games in a row against two of the best Premier League teams in the league right now. Thank you.